Ready to take your iMovie videos to the next level? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to look pro with your iMovie videos so that people will take you seriously online, you look professional and polished in your videos without having to spend hours at the computer. If you're new here, my name is Meredith Marsh and this channel is dedicated to helping your side hustle thrive with video so that you can become the boss of your own future. So make sure you hit that subscribe button now. Now, naturally, nobody wants to come off as hokey or amateurish in your videos but also who has time to become an iMovie expert? And when you put your time and energy into a video, of course you want people to enjoy it. Maybe even hit that like button, subscribe to your channel, leave a comment or share it out on social media. But if your video is hard to watch because it's distracting, then you're probably not gonna get the desired outcome you're going for. Now you might think that in order to create those pro looking edits, you're gonna have to use pro level software like Final Cut, Pro or Premiere Pro, but the truth is you can achieve pro, polished, professional looking videos with iMovie, and it's actually pretty simple and fast. So first of all, you don't actually have to cut out every single little um or pause in your sentences, but if you do, you wanna make sure that those cuts are super smooth. So for example, I have this clip here where I started saying one thing and then I needed to take a break and take a breath and figure out what to say next. So then I started the rest of the clip. Now, if we play this back, it's kind of awkward. Check this out. But also, who has time to become an iMovie expert? And, and when you put your time and energy, so there's kind of a weird pause and then I trip over my words, I start again. We need to clean that up a little bit. So first of all, I'm gonna zoom way in as far as I can. You can see I have the waveforms down here at the bottom. And I just wanna make sure that this clip right here ends right where my waveforms end. So I'm just gonna bring it over a little bit there. And then you can see my waveform right here where I mess up my words and start again. So we're just gonna get rid of that. And I'm just trimming the ends of the clip here. It's really not fancy at all. I'm just cleaning it up. So let's see what this looks like now. But also, who has time to become an iMovie expert? And when you put your So it's not bad. It's a little bit smoother. I got rid of that weird dead space and also got rid of the spot where I restarted my words. But we can make this a little bit more snappy, I like to call it, where the video moves a little bit quicker and we're getting rid of as many like empty frames as possible. So what I would do here is select this second clip here, and then we're actually going to detach the audio. So now we have the video part and the audio part down here. Now I like to go just a few frames into where I start talking, like just to about right here. I'm going to split this clip, Command B on the keyboard. I'm going to then take just the audio. I'm gonna move it over right here at the very end of the previous clip. And then I'm going to remove that part by hitting delete. Now I wanna show you what this looks like. But also, who has time to become an iMovie expert? And when you put your time in. So what I did was I just removed some of the frames of the visual part but I'm still keeping the audio part and it overlaps just a little bit, just enough so that there is no dead space and it's like, it feels a little bit more continuous. So this is actually called a J cut because it's kind of shaped like a J. If you went the other way and you overlapped going the other direction, it would be called an L cut. Now, if you're anything like me, it's pretty much impossible to talk to the camera and remember all of your words and not mess any of them up. And so inevitably you're going to have to kind of make cuts, get rid of stuff that made no sense or was just bad and uh, and then smooth things out with those cuts. And ideally you want the viewer to not really notice them as much. And so you don't need to do any crossfades or uh, weird distracting transitions or anything like that. Just let it go on to the very next clip. Just make sure you remove the, the weird frames in between that dead space. Otherwise it's gonna be like, yeah, that was definitely 
There was, there was definitely a cut there and that's not what you want to achieve. And if editing your videos does take a long time because you have so many takes and retakes like I do, you may want to consider upping your game when it comes to shooting your videos by having a outline or what I like to call a block scripting process so that you, you know exactly the words that you need to get out there and you're not like riffing as much, which takes more time when you are editing. So the second thing you can do to create this pro looking video with iMovie is to tease what's coming up in your video. So we talked about keeping your clips tight. Well, now we want to entice the viewer to actually keep watching. And one of the easiest ways to do that is at the very beginning of your video, just introduce a little teaser of what's coming up in the rest of the video. That way your viewer knows that if they stick around, you're actually going to start getting to the point and actually get into the content of the video. So what I like to do here, especially if I have a screencast tutorial like I'm doing right now, which you probably noticed that I did at the beginning of this video is just take a little bit of the screencast section. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be long, but we're just going to take a little bit here. I'm going to use my media library up here. We're going to grab a little part and then at the very beginning of the video where I have the intro, I'm just going to pull this down. And I'm going to place it right on top here. So as I'm talking about editing pro level videos in iMovie, you are seeing an iMovie tutorial just a little bit. There's nothing like, you know, profound happening in that little piece of B-roll, but it's just enough to tease you and make you think, oh yes, if I keep watching, she is actually going to open up iMovie and show me something. And if you have audio in that particular clip, you are going to want to completely mute it, bring the volume all the way down. So here you are talking to the screen. Let's get a good spot here. Well, in this video, you're gonna learn how to look pro with your iMovie videos so that you are taken seriously online, so you look polished and professional with your iMovie videos. So this is kind of a long example. I'm gonna shorten this up a little bit. And the other thing that I noticed too is this, there's nothing really happening in this little section of B-roll, but that's where I want it and that's how long I want it to be. So let me show you a little trick up here. If we come down up to window and then down to show clip trimmer, we're going to see that whole section, that whole clip, and then uh, you're going to see which part of that clip you actually have selected right now. So if there's another part of this that you would rather show, like probably over here. I'm just going to slide this over so it can actually decide where in that clip I want it to come in and where I want it to go out to make sure it's showing something that's actually visually interesting. So let me see what this looks like here. Well, in this video, you're going to learn how to look pro with your iMovie videos so that you are taken seriously online. Yeah, it's a little bit better. We can shorten it up a little bit. Pro with your iMovie videos so that you... So I like to do this with a screencast, but if there's something funny or even an interesting blooper or something that's going to happen later on in the video, you could give a little bit of a tease right up front and that way the viewer is interested in keeping watching your video. And of course, in order to do that, you're gonna to have to edit your entire video first to figure out what you even have to throw into your intro. And if you're not familiar with how I do my editing workflow, I actually have a video that I will uh, link to right above my head and then down in the description on exactly how I go through my workflow for my videos because I do a rough cut and then I go back in and do a fine tune instead of starting at the beginning and going through everything all at once because that would take days. Now I also want to mention here my friend Mike has a channel where he goes way in depth on editing with iMovie at a really pro level using tools that I don't even know how to use in iMovie. So check out Michael Kinney. I'll link to his uh, YouTube channel down in the description below as well. Now just because iMovie has a bunch of bells and whistles 
doesn't mean you actually have to use them. In fact, the more minimal and clean you keep your titles, your transitions, and any effects that you decide to use, the more pro it's really going to look. Less is more when it comes to video editing. But you may want to add your name or your website, your logo or something as a lower third, or you may want to create a title screen. And that's totally fine. You can actually do that right here within iMovie using their very simple, basic, but easy to use titles. Another fantastic way to do this is to add custom overlays that you create and then add into iMovie like I have done here. And I've queued up my very next tutorial for you on exactly how to create those, how to bring them into your project so you can use them on future videos. And for more tips and tricks for using iMovie to create your YouTube videos, make sure you just hit that subscribe button and check out the series over here as well.